Well, fuck. I didn't think I'd be fucking making this video anytime soon. Look. Hey, welcome back to a brand new video, guys. It's your boy OSG Night Rider. Hope you're enjoying yourselves, and I'll thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I want to talk about a very, very serious video today. It's in regards to one of my favourite all-time sitcoms that once aired on Channel Four. If I don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to, it's this popular sitcom that once aired back in the day it was on channel 4 and it was simply known as Pets now you're probably thinking oh okay this is just some uh, puppet show like for kids you know like some fucking Teletubby shit but this is no Teletubby shit but before I start off this video guys I just want to put a little disclaimer in this video what you're about to see I'm about to talk about is strictly not for children so if there's any children watching this video then please click off this video because if you think that this is not a program for kids it's not you're sadly mistaken because all you're gonna see is fucking them doing shit like this First of all, I'm about to explain to you what this show is about. Pets is a British sitcom that was once produced by Fit to Fill Productions Limited. It was originally aired by Channel 4 and it ran two series in total. Mind you, the fact that it got took off Channel 4 remains an explicable mystery. It's all based on puppets and shit. But Channel 4 wasn't the only ones that aired this show. MTV also aired this show. But what I'm trying to get at is what really happened to the wonderful British sitcom that was one spice on puppets with sick ass humour and adult entertainment. I mean, I was a big fan of the show back in the day from 2001 up until the time it actually disappeared. At one time, I actually sat down to watch this because of it running late nights on Channel 4. I absolutely enjoyed the show, but, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, what really happened? Was it because that younger viewers are watching it? Is that the reason why I got took down? Or is it because it was too vulgar? I mean, how could a brilliant show like Pets offend people is beyond me. I think it's fucking ridiculous. I mean, come on, I was once into the sick humour back in the day. I was only a teenager when I was watching this. It was fucking brilliant. I mean, take a look at this, for example. I did not shag the cat! Uh, come again? I did not shag the cat! And I did not shag a plural, but you don't see me fucking complaining. Okay guys, it was only a joke. Calm down, don't get too excited. But on a serious note guys, I just don't understand what happened with this show. But I'd like to give credit where it's due to Channel 4 for making this show possible. It was by far the best British sitcom I've ever seen in a while. I mean, it's so hard to understand from being a teenager that this show could just disappear off the face of the earth. But that's not what I'm trying to say. This show, to me, was my livelihood. I mean, I enjoyed it from the time it aired up until the time it finished and to this very day it just fucking bugs me to know this show just fucking vanished I want it to come back I really do I mean I miss it already but either way I could, it could still be found on YouTube so I'm not really missing out on much but you know I still think there's a lot of conspiracy theories as to why it was cancelled from Channel 4 in the fucking first place How much pain do you think you can take? What's this about? I thought I might start by cutting off your ear. Is it to do with your boss thing? Then I thought I'd smear an umbrella with extra hot chili sauce. Stick it up your dog star, open it, and then pull it out very, very slowly. What do you think about that? When you mention hot chili sauce, I don't know whether to be afraid or hungry. 
Come to think of it, I'm actually craving some pepperoni pizza and warm and subject. Why does Hamish sound like Klossel is fucking crazy? But as a piece de resistance, I thought I'd put your bolivers in one of those little kitchen gadgets you use for cutting hard-boiled eggs into lots of very thin slices. Fair enough. But what is this all about? Don't pretend you don't know, you pathetic, irresponsible bag of spunk, spilling your demon seed hither and thither with no thought of the consequences, staining everything in your path from kitchen carpet to carbon-based life form. I'm surprised there's anything left in you but a pale, diluted consummation an eloquent explanation, and yet I fear I am no closer to comprehending the cause for your evident distress. Liar! You slipped the cat a length of doggy hosepipe and then left me to take the blame! Oh, so that's what this is all about. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just when you think I'm trying to make a serious fucking video, I'm finding it hard to gain my composure because of how fucking funny it is. For fuck's sake! I just don't know, guys. I mean, this is a funny show. I mean, if you guys haven't already seen it, just check it out. I mean, this is the most fucking funny show. Fair enough, there's a lot of fucked up humor in this. And like I just stated in the video, you are going to get a lot of this if you do watch this show. You got the likes of Trevor Spangle, Spaniel Tits, Hamish and JP the Parrot. I mean, these are just puppets and the amount of foul language in this and fucked up stuff that they do is just absolutely fucking laughable. Honest to God. I fucking miss this show so fucking much. At the bar, how do you plead to the charge of murder? Guilty or not guilty? Fuckity fuckity fuck. Okay, I do apologise if I did state for the record that Hamish sounds like Colossal is crazy. I didn't mean that in a serious term, I was only joking around. But you gotta understand, it fucking really does. It near enough sounds fucking so dead on, it's fucking hilarious. Yes. And um, bearing in mind that we should also respect. Mm. I was wondering if you'd mind, well, dressing up. Dressing up? Yeah. Dressing up as what? Well, I've got this nun's costume somewhere. I'm busy. It's very tasteful. You pervert. Oh, ow. I'm not dressing up as a nun for you or anyone. Just wear the wimple. Fuck off. What about a hair shirt? Fuck off. Can I beat you with twigs? Fuck off. I suppose a damn good purging is out of the question. Oh, ah. I did state for the record on this video that there's going to be adult humour and stuff, so I can't say I didn't not warn you, I can't say I didn't tell you so, but I fucking told you so. So you can't blame me. And yes, I did put a disclaimer in this video in case anyone's wondering, but you know, it just fucks me up to the core because I was watching TV the other day, you know, I got like a digital box i mean i tried looking up on mtv channel 4 and other channels and for some reason there is it was not even listed it's like you can't find it anywhere i mean if you guys are try find this on any channel that it was listed on then you know please let me know because i wanted to record this on my digital box because i got one of them recordable boxes i mean it's not that it's this very day i do think it's kind of fucked up how this could just vanish off a of tv without warning i mean it can't be because not only were younger viewers watching i mean this is meant to be for adults it's adult entertainment in a way because you know if any parent thought in the back of their minds that this is for kids i mean what kind of example you're setting i mean what the fuck i mean how the fucking hell can this be for kids this is meant for I don't, I don't mean to repeat myself, guys, but this is for fucking adults. This is not meant for fucking children. I mean, did someone ring up Channel 4 saying, oh, could you please set this fucking program off the air because it's, it's giving my kids ideas of fucking narcissism or fucking any other type of bullshit? No. The fact is, it was based on a sitcom. It's a British sitcom, and it was fucking hilarious. Literally. I'm going to kill myself. And I know that some of you watching this video right now, yes you watching this video, I know that you could potentially be a fan 
of this show back in the day. I know it could have been your favourite sitcom of all time. And you can't deny it. I don't know. But uh, like I said, it was so fucking funny. I mean, I just want to talk about this video because, you know, it shouldn't have been took off Channel 4. I mean, if they could have kept it on there, it wouldn't have been a problem. I mean, even though it airs late nights, I mean, they used to or put it on around about half 10, 11 o'clock time on Channel 4, so yeah. It shouldn't have been took off Channel 4 in my opinion. I did not shag the cat! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I'm sorry that I was rambling on for a good 10 minutes or so. I just want to speak about how amazing shows and what could have possibly happened. I mean, I don't want to go on by saying that my points are not accurate because I don't think they're accurate. I just, you know, gave my opinion as to what really happened or how it could have potentially gone off the channel four. So yeah, with that being said, this has been your boy Shin Orada. Make sure you please give this video a like. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you please subscribe and turn on post notifications on. Until the next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace. I am here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I I haven't had a good time in a long time, you know, I I'm way up, I feel blessed